Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're having a good Friday. I'm gonna come with you guys with a little two banger real quick. Um, I wanted to get this channel going and get everything taken care of and talk about, you know, prison one-on-one -on -one stuff, stuff you might, you'll, you'll need to know going in and be prepared for. Um, I'm gonna keep moving in the directions. I got, when you go to prison, you see crazy stuff, like, especially if you do around. I didn't do... I did about five years all total, so I got a lot of freaking stories. It's just crazy. When people are bored, it's crazy. Things happen. It's nuts, man. So, I'm going to hit you one with the biggest one. Why do you need to fight in prison? You need to fight even if you've never been in a fight. Even if you don't know how to fight. Even if you... I've never even know how to throw a punch. You need to fight. And there's a, a guy about 300 pounds, benching weight, and all that stuff. And let me explain to you why. I'm not going to say it's going to work out every single time. But a person that will come in and have heart. And that will literally fight to make sure that you know their stuff won't be taken. They won't be taken advantage of. Man, once you get that jacket that people can just take what you want, you get everything taken from you. Everything. It's just like people will line up to victimize you, you know? And it's it's sad, man. So, let's see. Going through my head, it just kind of got a lot of stories of, of fights. And um, trying to think of like the best possible one of extortion but I would definitely have to say the easiest people for extortion were the SOs and SO is 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 slang for sex offender you know and the best one the reason why is because the guards don't even like them man the guards hate them you know what I mean for some reason these people still think they're they're better than People that have done armed robberies and violence when really they're the freaking creeps of the world that don't even need to be walking around in this planet. So, I'm going to get into that. So, sex offenders, we would be told that, you know, when people come in and uh, check their paperwork and then, you know, if you find their bad charges, you come back, you get a plan... And we take all their stuff and we either lay down the law and we say, you know, <clears throat> you either pay up, you either let people have your TVs for the weekend, you have to go to chow at a different time. You know, let, let me get you straight. There are sex offenders actually allowed in the pod if they're paying the gangs money. You know what I mean? But they have to pay every single week. And if that money doesn't come, you know... Then they they're in the same they're in the same thing, you know they're getting smashed out if they don't have the money, and and you know they're like whatever we'd rather have a, a pos in the pod. I didn't make this rule, but they'd rather have a pos in the pod that's that's feeding homeboys. You know what I mean? And they're like, shoot, I'm I'm making I'm living good in here, and I don't even have to ask my people for money. I'm just having this dude tricking him into thinking that. You know, like, you know, that I'll, uh, you just have to pay me, you know, the gang or whatever. But really, we don't care what happens to do. So why do you need to fight? So, kind of gives you backstories on SOs. Now, the same kind of goes when you come in and you're small and little and just coming in, you know, People are in there, man, that have damaged all their their relationships with their families and damaged all their relationships with their people, and they don't got nothing, man. And let me tell you, the food they give you, I believe, I remember looking at it, it was like 2,000 calorie, you know, diet, whatever, and this, this food is nothing, nothing at all. I think my five-year-old can eat it, I'm, I swear. Eat it, finish it, and still be hungry. So you got grown grown men, man. 
and they they don't want to be hungry then they see someone that gets caught up for i don't know like like let's go my my stuff right for trespassing breaking into vehicles you know what i mean it's felonies you know what i'm saying but i'm not doing armed robberies i'm not better than no man i'm not better than anyone but you know i'm looked down upon like man this this dude suck i can go in you know hold the knife out and say you know this is what i need it's called the list they give you a list that's what they say you're either gonna break it off or i'm gonna cut you and a lot of people are a lot of bark and a lot of bite and if you show heart and you show that you know ain't no man gonna take anything from me and i don't care what your size is I'll freaking admit to people that I will fight dirty and I will fight living. I don't care if my whole face is breaking up. I will fight to the end for my manhood and I guess you could call it respect. So a lot of the smaller guys and all that stuff, they will fold immediately, man. And they would just be taken advantage of. So a story when I was in prison, you know, dude checked, wanted to check you know what i was about you know questioning a couple things so i call him back and i already knew this dude was really good with his hands i already knew i was gonna lose the fight i'll admit to it i was gonna lose but i wasn't gonna be punked out i wasn't gonna look like a bitch now let me explain you this right i went in there i lost the fight but dude grabs me right gives me a hug i swear and my whole face, my whole eyes squeezed in. He says, man, he's like, you're down, bro. He's like, you know, it's uh, they call it a test of heart in Florida, stuff like that. But, I mean, we didn't really have a name. It was just, you know, basically if you got tested, you know, this would be the time that you're going to stand up for yourself. And let me tell you, after I got in that fight and... I stood up for myself. My time got easy. People were like, I can't go and take nothing from this man because he's going to stand up for himself. You know what I mean? He's going to, you know, and, and predators and everyone like that, they don't want someone that's going to fight for what they have. They don't because it just, you know, and, and you know, the tough guy says, oh, I'll... I'll keep getting what i want even if they're fighting coming in and out no they won't because you're gonna get hemmed up and you're gonna go to the hole so they like people that they can just basically you know use fear and to be a bully and come in and um another sad story i got going on is uh my wife's brother is doing a bid right now in colorado really weird stuff man stuff in jail i would never allow you know, she would get phone calls, and she would do visits, and, like, this is a big no-no. Do not look into people visits. That is immediate for fighting. And my little, my boy's in the back. What's she doing, man? But, uh, alright, so let me get down basically to the point. Why you need to fight in prison, even if you can't fight. This, the, the one time, that one time I stood up. And I fought. I called. I actually called dude out. I, I said, come to my cell. Called him out in front of everybody. So when I did that, you know what I mean? And then we got in the fight. There wasn't no snitching. There wasn't no telling. Then people were like, all right, dude, solid. He may not be the best with his hands. But, man, the dude will learn. And if we can get him right, we can get him good. So, but let's talk about my wife's brother situation he, and it sucks man because he says like man i just want to go home i'm gonna go home soon and this is where people get in a lot of crazy back and forth kind of stuff it sucks so you know when i see all this stuff going and a lot of the no-nos and everything like that i know he's getting extorted so like my wife and he, he's even told her like don't sell any money they're gonna take it and I got on the phone. I said, "Dude, you need to fight. You need to. You need to go at it. Unless it's like gang politics. Gang politics are tricky because if you fight one, you fight with them all. 
So you gotta you gotta gotta have some numbers if you're even gonna get in a fight with like say a Serenio. Like man, that with well, the prison I was at, there was a lot of them. It was crazy. But so this man is losing his food, his money, even my wife just worries about him every single day and most of the time you can avoid these situations by standing up for yourself and you get if you lose a fight you lose a fight you know what i'm saying but like a, i would agree with like a test of heart showing that you can be a man you're gonna stand up for yourself and you're not gonna let no one take anyone else you know because let me tell you if you don't fight these men are gonna come up they're gonna give you a list and it's demands and it's on you need to have it every single week you have to call your family and outside to give food that remember they're gonna take any food you have so you're still gonna go hungry and to be sending people money from there to I guess not get take a you know a whooping you know you're still gonna go hungry they can take everything you have and now they got you on lock so basically you're paying rent and it's a sad thing bro i mean not with the so's i mean they get it when they go and you know what i mean you know that when you got charges like that what it is you know but when they take advantage of newer cats that you know don't come with like violent charges or just like they say what they want to go home and that is a true story if you take a ticket because i got denied parole with having a ticket and they told me the same thing they're like if you would have stayed out of trouble we would have sent you off on parole it was like but you've been catching tickets you're not showing us that you're gonna do good out there so you know you're there until you're there until you step out it sucks man so when you fight you establish yourself and it and it puts everyone to look at it's really a crazy thing, but it, it's it's so weird in there that people look at it like, oh, okay, he, he can carry us. He's a man. Like, I can rock it with dude. So you lose all your stuff. You're still going hungry. And then trust me, people that get extorted because you are who you hang around with, like, ain't no one want to be around someone that's being extorted. So pretty much you're not going to kick it with anyone. Ain't no one going to try to back you up because you ain't going to back them up. You know what I mean? You're running low. You're having to pay rent. And then what if, you know, that money gets cut off? Then you just get smashed out anyways. You know what I'm saying? And it's always a lose, lose, lose situation. So, you know, I don't recommend violence. But if a man comes up and tries to take something that isn't his from you, you stand up. You fight, man. If you got to play dirty and kick the dude in the... You know what I mean? Dude's a, I didn't call it out. I said, I had to, man. The dude was like 300 pounds. What you want me to do? I'm going to try to get on his back with like a choke. I don't know. You know? I'm going to fight dirty. Whatever I got. But you got to be careful of that. You know? You don't want to hit someone and smash his head at the side and die. But it's a scary reality, bro. So, you know, that's why everyone says, man, make these choices and enjoy being out here. Enjoy it. Not having to be in this situation. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. You know, enjoy your job even, man. So, um, Prison 101. Yes, you do have to fight. It's going to come at, it's going to come either a day, a week, a month. It's going to come and you're going to be tested. The only time you might not need to if you're in a very, very minimum security prison that is all full of people that is being told it's okay to snitch on people and stuff like that. But, you know, county jail, everything like that. And I'm not saying it's okay what those dudes do. They just don't want to lose their privileges. So, you know, it is what it is. But prison 101, man, you got to fight. You got to stand up for yourself. And... Even if you don't fight, even if you don't know, man, my kid just threw rocks. You know better, Roman. Come on, man. You don't throw rocks at the car. Crazy. But if y'all ever go in there, remember that. Someone tests you, stand up for yourself. Regardless, win, win or lose, I'm pretty much going to guarantee you you're going to have a better end if, if you fight. 
you fight and you not freeze, you not give up nothing because your name is all you got or your number in prison. So that's going to follow you too. So you get to prison and dudes are like, man, that's an easy target. He, I knew he, he was paying rent to dude and dude. So people are going to come at you. So you're just, when you put that into your name or number, that's what people think of you as. So remember, prison 101, if you have to fight, you got to fight. You got to stand up for yourself. You got to be a man. You got to. You got to. Even if you don't know how to. You got to. You know. And most of the time it will work out. So. Wish y'all everyone. I'll get better at recording these things. Get some good editing in. All this good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Hope y'all have a good Friday. Click and. Uh, man. I, I always see it. But I always say it wrong. Click the like and subscribe button and we will keep this channel growing. I will get better. I got stories, man, for a long, long time, man. It's crazy. But, uh, yeah, man, come and see more and I'll keep the content going. Thanks, y'all.